Hello everybody and welcome back to a little bit of a redo video. So my Manticore expansion um, idea um, has expanded itself basically. An expansion has expanded. Yeah. Anyway, so um, let's get into some of the other ideas I've added to this um, DLC. So I'm just going to go through the whole thing again to make up for the other video. So, new species, Spinoceratops, Smilodon being the first mammal, Nothosaurus being the first semi aquatic, and Tarbosaurus um, being a new carnivorous dinosaur. Also, Spinoceratops would be a omnivore. Onto the variants, we have Spinosaurus, which would be larger as confirmed by the writers of the show, and as you can see in the show, its foot um, sits perfectly on the torso of a T-Rex. Um, so yeah, if you need any type of comparison, that is how much it has increased from its JP3 um, appearance. <coughs> oh, I thought it made it be. <laughs> I, I did just have lunch, so yeah. Imagine a burp coming out of that thing. That would um, blow blow a lot away, I would imagine. So the Manticore Velociraptor, uh, Velociraptor, now that's later. The Manticore Dilophosaurus, well Camp Cretaceous Dilophosaurus, um, would be variants as they have a bit of a different model as well as um, a pink frill. Yeah, that um, is a new skin that was on Manticore Island and on Isla Nublar. I actually don't remember that scene. Um, I need to rewatch season five, I guess. Yeah, I mean four and five aren't my aren't my favorite seasons, but I guess I need a bit more context. Um, the Pseudoceratops male um, variant. This would probably be just a free update thing, um, as we have in the Pseudoceratops in the game already, but it's also not really related to Camp Cretaceous, so. It could just be a free thing after all the Dominion stuff. Yeah. Um, Dimorphodon um, skin or variants. It depends on how they want to go about it. Um, but it could just be a skin. Um, that's all. Ha add the yellow eyes, which is something that should be considered with all these Camp Cretaceous uh, dinosaurs. They should have the exact same model. Um, and the yellow eyes that all the animated dinosaurs seem to have. Um, that makes them differentiated from the regular dinosaurs in a way. And it's trying to be as realistic as it can. Um, but yeah, so Dimorphodon would have to have that as well. Um, Little E.T., as you can see there, you've got the yellow eye. Um, very distinct there. So there would be a few skin... There would be two skins of Lil Edie, one without scars and one with scars. The same for um, her mother, Big Edie, which was added in the dinosaur pack, Camp Cretaceous dinosaur pack, last, um, yeah, last year. Yeah, so scarred skins and scar-free skins um, would be certainly a good option. Same for Toro. So we do have a scar-free skin with the Camp Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack, but these two scarred skins would be really good. So you've got Toro from early season one where he just had the scar on his nose, and then season two and five where he was crispy and um, burned. So um, yeah, that would be um, something that should be considered with, with him. Maybe just update his code. Same with most of the other dinosaurs, like um, someone commented how they would add um, the model of skins I'll talk about in a bit. Um, and it would pretty much be the same as how they add skins for the regular dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are in the game. They're just unlocked by different DLCs and paywalls. Um, and Toro, he would just have to have his skins added to the Carnotaurus. And those are just... Um, unlockable via the different DLCs. But this these two skins would probably be best for um the Cretaceous Dinosaur Pack um to be added to that. 
even little lady could be added to that um if i'm gonna be honest um Sprabosaurus. um to be fair all these skins um if they could be added but placed under the i don't know how possible it is but if the skins of the regular dinosaurs that aren't like manticore specific were placed under the dinosaurs um that they belong to and just unlocked via the Kent Cretaceous dinosaur pack would that work um i don't know if that is able to work or not they, like they could just be added in a free update just update but you have to get the Kent Cretaceous dinosaur pack to, to be able to access them I don't know if that's possible, but if it is, well, that, that solves um, a lot of space problems with the content of the DLC. So, I had two Ceratosaurus skins there, a Manticore Velociraptor skin, um, two Sinoceratops skins. Again, what I was saying, they could just be added to the Sinoceratops um, there. So, you have the grey skin for Maria and the orange skin for some of the other Sinoceratopses. Two Brachiosaurus skins, so you have a grey, a green one, and a brown, or orange one. Stegosaurus has four. Um, so you got this brown spotted one, this uh, green with white side stripe and orange underbelly, and blank plates. Um, the one in the bottom left picture um, has two skins, where you've got one that's green with blank plates and um, green spots. And the other is grey with um, blue stripes. Well, blue or black stripes, whatever. Two Gallimima skins um, for Camp Cretaceous. So you have the regular brown, orange one. And in the middle, you can see you've got this paler um, coloured one. Almost an olive green Gallimima. The two Monolophosaurus skins are also featured in Season 3. Um, so, well, the two other ones, because we do have Monolophosaurus 2015 already, but, um, it would probably be good to get the other, um, skins for that as well. Compy skins. Now, these ones I, I actually glossed over. Like, I'm surprised I did, because they were very distinct. So, you got the bottom one, which was green, greenish blue with a yellow underbelly, but a unique, um, red throat which is very interesting and you can't really make that with um, the current coffee skins um, you also have that blue one uh, up the top the way it's positioned it looks like the seal of physis um, yeah that just shows how close they are in design which is very interesting how you can make these comparisons and you also have the brown red one um, in the top top right Now these two are a bit, a bit more speculative. So you've got the Indominus Rex um, skin, which would be darker grey with a few more aspects of the Camp Cretaceous one that made it unique um, in comparison to its movie counterpart. It would also just be nice to see Indominus Rex get a skin because Indominus Rex, of course, dies. But it would be interesting to do more with it as it is such a unique dinosaur and has two different appearances within the main canon of franchise so you've got this skin which is basically more of a saturated yukon river um, blank skin but yeah it would just be nice and same with the rex b um of course getting the i think the camp cretaceous t-rexes should have a head sculpt um change to better match what you see in the show and um then it's easier that then they easily defined in comparison to the live action t-rex so i think that's something that should be looked at like changing the head sculpt to match camp cretaceous and just having rexy scarless and with the camp cretaceous textures i think that would be really good um custom hybridization system so you have hybrids um mixing with others of their kind to make gen gen generate Gen, 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 generation 2s, so Interraptor Gen 2, Scorpius Rex Gen 2, Indominus Rex Gen 2. Um, I mean, if you could do this with other dinosaurs, that would be interesting. 
Um, oh, you know something else that I haven't actually included in here that uh, should be added? Um, specific species um, of dinosaur, like island-specific species. So, for example, Tyrannosaurus rex nublarensis, T-rex saunaensis. So having the different species to alternate through, well, species, well, subspecies, I should say. Um, although, I, I guess they are species, because I don't think you would have the Rex in there, but you would have Tyrannosaurus nublarensis. I don't know, but something like that would be interesting for, like, variant system. I think that would be very cool. Some species are not compatible to make successful hybrids, so that would be an interesting concept to look at. Because, um, would you really mix a T-Rex with a Dimorphodon? Or a Compsognathus with a Mosasaurus? No, you wouldn't. Well, so there's going to be certain barriers with this system that, um, should be looked at in detail to make it possible. The ability for players to experiment more more with hybrids. Um, so, like the Spinoceratops should require this system. Like, that would be very good if you had the Spinosaurus and Sinoceratops already in um, the Manticore expansion campaign. Um, you extract DNA from them and put that DNA together to make your hybrid um, Spinoceratops. So, yeah. And you can also make super hybrids, which is a term used by Jurassic World the game, I believe. I think it's just Jurassic World the game, where you use a hybrid and another dinosaur to make an even better hybrid, so Indoraptor being one of those. Um, then you have the return of Spinoraptor, Ankylodicus, and Stegoceratops. Stegoceratops would have two variants, so Triceratops. And the Pseudoceratops variants, because um, in the concept art for Jurassic World, Stegoceratops was going to be included, but then was cut. Um, and it appeared to have um, features of a Pseudoceratops rather than a Triceratops. So I think that would be um, a bit of... A, a little bit more spice to the Stegoceratops. Make it more interesting, as you can have two different versions of it. So. Now we're getting into the new features that are not dinosaurs, uh, until a little bit. Um, I mean, some of them will be. So Manticore Island has a new map. A huge is the Nublar map. Now this is something I would love to see, because then you could have the whole island to choose where you build. I mean, you've got Main Street as a default, so um, down towards the Cape of... Um, yeah, the cape of Isla Nublar, you have the um, Main Street Lagoon, well, the Jurassic World Lagoon, which is which would act somewhat as a natural lagoon um, situation where you have an ocean gate, and if you open it, the Mosasaurus could escape, and then you have to send someone to go get it. Actually, that would be really cool. And you have, all, of course, all the different um, facilities around the islands. So Indominus Rex Paddock, Raptor Paddock, T-Rex Kingdom, the Jurassic World Avery, so that that's another building that should be added later, just the, the huge Jurassic World Avery with, that can have so many Pteranodons and Dwarfodons in it, and maybe several Quetzalcoatlus too. Um, yeah, so I feel like that should uh, be looked at. Definitely. Um, the Velociraptor Compounds. Oh, wait, where, where's the other thing? Oh, uh, I, I I think I mixed up the uh, um, slides here. Okay, anyway, Velociraptor Compound, that is, that's definitely in. T-Rex Kingdom, definitely in. So these sort of exhibits could work much like um, the San Diego Amphitheatre, where you've got just an enclosed space um, that you can have the dinosaurs in. I mean, it could be more complex than that, as they would have gates as well. So you open those gates and the dinosaurs can walk out. That would be something interesting to look at. Um, Main Street building configuration, so basically what I mean by this, um, have the exact same building, 
pieces that are seen with the main street buildings and be able to implement those um, into the game. So, so some of the pieces that were part of the guest buildings in Jurassic World Evolution 1 and um, bring those back. I think it would be really nice to see those again, especially the ones on the um, two front buildings of Main Street where you got that nice amber colored um, like glass prism um, on the top. That would be really good to see. Um, Lagoon Mosasaurus Feeding Show. So you have the five connected um, aquatic viewing galleries and a connected shark feeder to the center one with um, the spot for the uh, person to, like the, uh, what are they called? Uh, my brain's failing me here. Um, presenter. I'll just stick with that. The presenter of the show, their little... Um, Pedestal, I'll say. Podium. Podium, there we go. So, presenter will be on their little podium in front and introduce you to the Mosasaurus. Also, maybe Mosasaurus could be made bigger to eat the whole shark. Because um, it would be cool if you could just see the whole shark get taken away. Rather than just half the shark. That, that, that could be looked at, right? Just the Mosasaurus 2015... Um, variant which makes it larger I mean that is possible right I could be very skeptical here I don't know the complexities of this but um, yeah if that could be done that would be great um, the hidden adventure park also would be really good to see uh, so like you have the whole park so the gate um, and a different and like the the square in the middle, and then you go off to the different attractions, so the roller coaster and jeep tour that I'm coming up to. So underground caves and boat tour. Okay, I I may have accidentally deleted the slide. Um, so another is the sauna map for the campaign to so collect species like Pierce. Uh, although Pierce could have been created. I don't know how much of a backstory we got. I I need to rewatch it, but um. Like, to get Big Edie and Little Edie and the Spinosaurus at least, and the Ceratosaurus, Stegosaurus, and all the other dinosaurs that are on the island, get those um, off of Isla Sauna and some off of Isla Nublar as well. Anyway, back to this one. So, like, a whole Isla Sauna map. Like the one I was just talking about with Isla Nublar. Back on topic here. The Underground Caves and Boat Tour for the Parasaurolophus Lux. So those would be good. The biodomes, I've already talked about that in the previous video. So you have a desert, you have a woodland, you have a swamp, and you have an arctic tundra, all connected underground, all the way back to the main facility in the center that you can see there. Um, Brad's and Brad X's um, acting as the ranger and MVU's. Manticore snowmobile, basically, um, for the transportation of dinosaurs between um domes i guess you could say i mean that that could be the case really um also just another thing on those bioluminous caves they would just that it would be a boat tour yeah um i really did not script this at all <laughs> hidden adventure roller coaster that would be great um, Hidden Adventure Jungle Safari Ride. So this would be like the little jeep tour going past the animatronic dinosaurs. And maybe the occasional live dinosaur, <laughs> like the Tarbosaurus. Um, the gondola ride, um, going all the way up to the lookout points. So that would be a nice um, little location to have on the big Isla, Isla Nublar map. Lookout point and the gondola ride being able to be placed up on there. As well as the hang gliding station and viewing deck. So those would be really good. And op open top viewing decks with binoculars. And talking about like the suspended and some in some cases flying um, attractions. We get the balloons back from uh, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Those would be really good to see. 
Yeah. Oh, the good old days. Um, the Camp Cretaceous um, truck, the Camp Cretaceous gate, a Camp Cretaceous style Z- Zyl, zip line, and Camp Cretaceous itself with the um, little Jurassic, Jurassic World icon in the center of the courtyard there. Um, medium and large carnival pack hunting. Now, this is something I would love to see. So I put the Barry Monks trio here as an example because you see them working as a team in the show. So seeing them work as a team on other dinosaurs would be really cool to see, especially Ankylosaurus or Sinoceratops. That would be really interesting to get some new animations. Maybe even on a Therizinosaurus. Imagine how cool that, that could be made to look. Um, B. Cancretaceous decorations I didn't mention. So the cages from season two, episode two, when Sammy, Brooklyn, Darius go to the vet clinic and all the dinosaurs are in those specific cages. So if those could be added, that would be cool. And the fence that borders every other enclosure in Camp Cretaceous, so particularly Toro's enclosure. Uh, in terms of other decorations, barrels, crates, um, fallen tables, chairs and umbrella shades and shipping containers so a few more shipping containers would be interesting to see like if you could stack them on top of one another or just have decorations where they're stacked up um those would be good um and just a few details um about some of the missions so you could have a manticore ca- you'd have the manticore campaign a camp cretaceous chaos theory um that would be really cool as it could be like Scorpius Rex was let out early. Um, and you have all the other Camp Cretaceous dinosaurs there. Like you're working with the campers to take down the Scorpius Rex. Like you've arrived to the island, found the campers there. Scorpius Rex is loose. The campers fill you in on how dangerous it is. And you have to try and learn how to catch it. And the fact that it's able to breed as well um, asexually. That would be a really interesting chaos theory, actually, having to manage the island and um, eradicate this um, bio weapon, basically. Um, yeah, so I think that would be an interesting thing to look at. Um, for that. And just before I end the video, um, we also have limited access of Camp Cretaceous dinosaur pack skins and species specific for the campaign and chaos theory. So what I mean by this for the campaign, um, you would have to have access to Big E.T., um, the Ceratosaurus, the, the uh, Stegosaurus, the Compies, um, the um, Big E.T. skin. Oh, I think I said that. Pierce, so the Cantrosaurus 2015 variant. I hope I haven't forgotten anything here. Um, Bumpy, I guess. Yeah. Um, the Toro skins you'd have to have access to. Um, and for the Chaos, there's specific species like Scorpius Rex, Modelophosaurus, um, and all the other skins from that um, DLC. So Chaos and Limbo particularly as well because Grim, um, of course, dies in Season 2. So, um, yeah, just temporary access for many of those skins would certainly do it. And that's the end of this redo. It's not very glamorous at all, really. But um, there were just a few more features I think I need to add. I'll I'll put this in as a separate video, I think, and keep the other one going. But watch this one for a few new ideas, um, if you so choose. I'm not going to delete the other one. Um, but we can have both. We can have both. Uh, this one might just get less views, though. But I don't really care. I just wanted to get a few more ideas out there into the mainstream to see what could be added. Maybe even the drones too. Yeah. Uh, Pierce skin with a broken um, thagomizer. Yeah. Anyway, if you enjoyed it, um, I'll see you in the next one. I'm recording a few more videos um, when I have the time in March and into April. Autumn's 
going to be very interesting, particularly with the DLCs coming up for Planet 2 and Jurassic World Evolution 2. What those will be, we don't know, but um, yeah, can't wait to cover them when they are announced and the updates that are alongside them. I'll probably wait for both to come out before I actually cover them. So like the update um, notes and the DLC itself, um, like it's an, an announcements, just making that clear. Like, I'm not going to wait until it actually has come out until I make a video on it. Like, uh, I don't know if that's really too smart or just holding back um, a bit. But anyway, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.